welcome to the channel it's your boy troy all right this channel called no one cares where we focus on self-improving and becoming the best version of ourselves okay now today i want to talk to you guys about understanding that you got to put in the work in relationships and i want to tell you why now putting in the work in relationships it doesn't end and you got to make sure that you self-improve at all times now a lot of times i see a lot of men going through different situations like breakups um, they go through situations where they are uh, in relationships for a long periods of time and the woman starts to lose interest okay they become comfortable i run into um, guys that are married or they've been married and they always say that it starts good in the beginning and over time it starts to get boring she stops being submissive and eventually she calls it off most of the time she calls it off so guys have to understand how everything works how the world works why it's important for men to become the best version of themselves now building masculinity is is one of the most important things that you need to do if you want to maintain your relationship or marriage i just ran into a guy and he said uh he has been with his lady eight years and now she wants a divorce so it's 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 a few things that you might be doing to to speed up your breakups you know it's a couple of things you could be doing that could be turning your woman off. You know, that could be lowering her attraction level to you, okay? So that's what this video is gonna be about. The three things that masculinity is based upon, guys, is your body, your mind, and your finances, all right? These are the three things that you gotta have in order if you want to maintain relationships, if you don't want to be disrespected, you know, if you don't want to be mistreated, because if you have these three things in order, your self-value, your self-respect and your confidence will go way up. But when you start to get in a relationship and you only have one of them in order, you know, and, or you only have two of them in order, the relationship will be okay for a while, but it'll be hard for you to maintain it. You won't be able to maintain it. And then you'll have to go through um, all the problems that come along with breakups and divorces and etc. But the problem that I see most men is they don't want to put in the work. Guys are afraid to put in the work. All right. Now to self-improve, you have to you're gonna have to get your body in a better situation man you're gonna have to start watching what you eat you're gonna have to stop um being lazy because once you start improving your body it goes with your thinking you're thinking to start improving you'll start to handle uh, stress better you'll start to look at things different because it's crazy, man. You can be looking at something through one lens and once you start working out and once your mind gets a little clearer, you'll see it as an advantage. You'll be able to use it. So you gotta start working on yourself and improving your body, man. And, and this is doing this, do this for you. So your heart will be healthy. So you won't have to be in and out of the hospital. Okay? So you got to work on your body, man. 
and just start watching kind of what you eat. That's what I'm doing. I'm a work in progress, okay? And your mind. Now, a lot of you guys, man, you are up under a woman all the time and you're not allowing your mind to grow. You gotta allow your mind to grow so you can be creative and self-improve. Because a lot of times women lose attraction when they're with a man that's not improving his finances, improving his mindset, if he's not ambitious. And there's no way that you're going to uh, improve yourself if you are always pillow talking, if you are being your girlfriend's friend instead of her man. You don't need to be her friend, be her man, because once you start, you know, talking to her about your emotions and about your feelings and listening to her bullshit, listening to her complain about work and stuff like that. Once you start um, laying up with her and watching those little uh, shows on TV that she watched, what they call the basketball wives, once you start doing all that stuff, her attraction level goes down. And the more you around your woman, the less mysterious you are. So you can't be acting like your woman's friend. All right. And finances. All right. Are you willing to put in the work to suffer? Now, most men that are in relationships, they don't know what's going on. They don't know why she's cheating. They don't know why she's not being submissive anymore. They don't know why she's changing. But the guy, he's not improving his finances, okay? He's, he's consistently struggling, but he's not picking up another job. All right? He don't have any extra money in his pocket, but he's not trying to learn a new skill. Every man needs to be trying to learn new skills and, and, find, and work an extra job and trying to do anything possible to continue to raise his income every year. Now, if you guys are in a relationship and you're not ambitious and you're not improving, your relationship is going to fail. Now, it might fail down the line, you know, and when I say fail, man, a lot of times it's a slow death. A lot of times you'll see year by year the the submissiveness from your woman going down, the sex going down. Uh, you'll see her not trying to look her best around you. It's just little things you'll see. Okay, you'll see her being secretive, a little bit more secretive with her cell phone. You know, because what you got to understand is women cheat emotionally first. And it's a 50% 50, 50 on who's cheating, men or women, okay? So women cheat emotionally first. And you got to understand that women are hypergamy. And that's one of the things I'm going to talk about in this video. Women are hypergamy, man. So they constantly need a man that they can look up to. So you got to be on your shit. You got to be self-improving. You can't be no lazy ass, okay? You can't be no little whiny boy. You know what I'm saying? No little... No dude that's constantly complaining because when you do these things, your woman has the right to upgrade. She has the right to upgrade. And, and, and we're going to talk about the ways that she up, upgrades, okay? She'll upgrade on your ass if you don't step your shit up. So all men need to understand these things I'm about to be talking about. And... Once you start working on these things, because mastering your body and mastering your mind and mastering your finances, you might not ever do it. But it's the pursuit. It's the pursuit of mastering your mind. It's the pursuit of trying to get your body in order. It's the pursuit of trying to get your finances in a better position. OK, it's the pursuit that's going to change your vibe. It's the pursuit that's going to improve your uh, relationships with your woman and it's going to also make you more attractive to women in general okay it's going to make you attractive to also everybody if you're a guy and you out here looking for a job and stuff like that 
once you, they they can they, the first thing they see is your appearance if you don't look like you lazy bam they laziness won't come in their mind until you start acting lazy okay so all these things play a big factor in your relationship life man in your life in general all right so one of the things i want to talk about man is one of the things that brought me to wanting to self-improve wanting to become the best version of myself is i went through a breakup right and i was wondering how did she get over me so quick how did i how was i in a relationship man and i was in love and and she and we went to church and she met my mother and all this that and the other you know I was wondering why, how, how, when, you know, whenever we broke up, she got over me real quick. Like she would be like, okay, go ahead and go, go ahead and go. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the hell is going on? So this is what made me, I was like, man, I got to find out how the hell did I get fooled? What the hell did I do? To where I was so far off of my game where I'm putting her and her needs before my needs. How did I get off my game to where I stopped going to the gym? I stopped saving money. You know what I'm saying? I got my finances in a bad situation when I was with her. I said, what was going on? I had my whole life out of order. And that's one of the things that happened with a man is we'll get once we get in a relationship we'll start to get comfortable and we'll have our whole we'll have our saving how we saving money we'll have our gym schedule we'll have everything we do in order and then once we get in a relationship we start slipping so i said i'm gonna get my shit in order i'm gonna self-improve okay now a lot of men these days do give up on relationships they give up on women on women in general because nowadays the modern woman doesn't have the qualities of the women back in the day and so when a man starts these days starts to date a woman and starts to get in the relationship with a woman it becomes a lot of work now a lot of women they'll have uh the average guy they'll make the average guy take them on two to three dates all right before you get the ass you know what i mean you might go on one date two dates and then get the ass this is your average beta male and then once you get the sex it is not worth the wait all right and so you go do the same thing again and so when you're taking a woman on these three dates you are spending a lot of money you know what I mean? And so you do it over again. And this is how men start wasting money. They'll start taking these women on different dates just to get the ass. Okay? And so when I started, when I was doing this, I wasn't getting nowhere. So I said, man, I got to fucking self-improve. All right? So I, when I took the red pill and I started understanding female nature, I started realizing that, man, all the time that I'm spending on women... That's like another part-time job. I said, I can use that time to focus on becoming the best version of myself. All right. So once I started real, I said, I said, I start, I said, I'm going to start focusing on productive things. I'm going to use that money and start putting it back into myself. Once you start as a man, you start taking a break from the from the woman and this is something that you need to do before you get in a relationship okay before you get in a relationship you need to take a break so i took a break and i started uh focusing on myself so once you start focusing on yourself you start coming up with a plan okay you start coming up you start dressing better you start going to the gym all right you start saving your money. All right. So like I say, you got to take a break before you. If you are already in a relationship, we'll talk about that. But before you get in a relationship, you need to take a break 
and do these things that I'm telling you, okay? Do these things first. And that's what we was talking about, body, mind, and finances, okay? So once I took that break, I started focusing on me. And one, and one thing that I learned is the women love a man with a plan. So women don't love you. They don't love you. They love who you are. They love, they love you for what you can provide. You as a man are not loved unconditionally. I don't care what nobody say. You are loved for who you are as a man. So a lot of men out here, they feel like they woman just love them. But no, she, she loves who you are as a man. Okay, your productivity, your mindset, your goals. Because if she just loved you for, uh, she, if she just loved you, for who you are, you know what I'm saying? Like if she just loved you and you didn't provide and you didn't do nothing, then the world wouldn't progress. That means all men would be weak and fat and sloppy and have no ambition and the world wouldn't continue to progress the way it is. But since men want women, all right, men want women. So what we know is we gotta produce and we gotta make money so we self-improve, we work jobs, we do the best we can to attract a woman. So you got to focus on yourself first. All right. That's what you got to do, because a woman will not love you unconditionally. She loves you conditionally. OK, now, once you start doing these things and you start raising your value, you got to maintain this. You got to maintain this. All right. The thing that happens to men in relationships is they'll do these things for a while or they'll do these things before they get in a relationship. But after they get in a relationship, they'll slack off. You will start to get comfortable. You got to you got to maintain this shit. This is what's required for you to maintain your marriage. This is what's required for you to uh, keep attraction level up for your woman. You have to continue to self improve. OK, you got to because women are hypergamy. All right. And because once you fall off, once you fall off. Your woman has the right to upgrade, all right? You need to embrace the masculine burden. You need to embrace uh, the challenge. Okay, look, I'm a, all right, look, I'm in a relationship, I'm in a marriage, I'm providing, I, I have a good job, or I'm, work, I'm working a couple of jobs, I have a good career, I have a business. If I don't maintain this shit, if I don't keep this thing going, She's going to leave. And so what this is going to do in your mind as a man is keep you on your shit. All right. You got to stay on your shit. If you start becoming a whiny, if you start to become sloppy, if you start to um, slack off, your woman has the right to upgrade and she will most likely upgrade. Women do it in different time frames. It just depends. All right, but that's hypergamy. One of the next things men have to do to maintain relationships is you cannot be tolerating disrespect. You cannot tolerate no disrespect, all right, from your woman. Don't show weakness, all right? So one of the things that women do, that men do in relationships is they start um, becoming feminine. So the more you hang around a woman, the more feminine you may become, okay? So it just, it depends on how concrete you are in your masculinity. That's gonna determine how quick you start to become feminine the more you hang around a woman, all right? So that means don't be having bed talks, talking about your feelings and emotions over coffee and shit like that. Don't be laying up with her. Don't be watching them shows. Don't be doing that feminine shit, all right? Make sure that you demand the best 
from your woman, okay? Make sure that you keep her in line and keep her in check because women test. Man, got to understand that women test you. And what they're testing for is for weakness. So women are hardwired to reproduce with the strongest man possible at all times. Even if she can't have kids, even if she doesn't have kids, it's in her nature to want to reproduce with the strongest man possible. So she's going to test you. And you can't be failing the test. So if you're out with your girl, right, and and she uh, starts talking to another guy, all right, for a long period of time and, and touches him on her arm or does something like that, you need to check her ass. Now, what I would do is I would tell her ass, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Look in the eye, tell her let's go. And then put on ice. Put on ice for a couple of days. Don't talk to her. You got to keep your woman in check because if she doesn't believe that you are the strongest option then she will start upgrading and then you you'll get the you'll get that message down the line hey i'm not happy i want a divorce hey i'm not happy i want to break up because you've been soft because you let her get away with this and that all right so when she does good in a relationship reward her. When she does bad, you need to correct it and put her on ice. That means don't contact her. And what, what, what most men have a problem with and why a lot of men have problems in relationships is because they don't wanna correct uh, bad behavior. They scared. And the reason why they scared is a lot of men if they married and she has the upper hand in the court system, she has the power, all right? M most likely she has the power. So what gives man his power and what lets him keep his power is that he's not afraid to lose it all. So if you married, all right, and your woman, and your woman keeps testing you, she don't believe that you'll leave her ass. You got to let her know that you're not afraid to leave this whole damn thing. Leave this whole marriage. I'm not afraid. Once she's afraid of losing you, she'll stay in line. And the only reason she'll be afraid of losing you is if you are a valuable man. Okay, you don't got to be necessarily the highest value man, but you need to be a valuable man, a valuable masculine man that has things going, that has working on his body, has a strong mindset, working on his finances and improving every year. That's how you'll be. That's how you'll be valuable. Okay. Now. One of the things that you're doing, the only thing that you're doing when you're working on your body and you're working on your mind and you're working on your finances, the only thing you're doing is making payments. So this is all you're doing. The whole time you're in a relationship, you're making payments every month, every month. All right. What a lot of men think is once they do this to get her or, or once they do this after they get once they get married, then they can stop making payments. And it's kind of like a car, it's like a vehicle. If you stop making payments, then she'll come and take, they'll come and take your car. If you stop paying your mortgage or if you stop paying your rent, they'll evict you, okay? You have to continue uh, to pay the bill in your relationship or marriage. It doesn't stop. It's nature. You got to pay the bill. Okay. So paying the bill every month means you continually doing the things that I was saying. You continually working on your body. You continually improving your mindset. You continuously working on your finances. 
You gotta do this shit nonstop. And that's how the world maintains itself. That's how the world keeps going. Okay, the challenge is on the man to continue to be ambitious and self-improve. The challenge is on the woman to maintain her body and to be submissive and feminine. That's the thing, that's the thing, okay? That's the bottom line, all right? And so you have a lot of men that's afraid that don't wanna put in the work. So they say, look, I'ma get sloppy. You know what I mean? I'ma get comfortable and I'm not dealing with women. I'm gonna leave them alone. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna just, you know, watch porn and live life like that. So you can either choose to get cheated on, all right, to, to waste all them years in the marriage, or you can choose to leave women alone as a whole, all right, just not date or nothing and be and be sedentary and not improve or if you want the highest quality life right as a man all right with a woman where she's submissive and feminine and with your program you continue to put in the work you continue to self-improve all right that's what that's that's those are the options that you have Okay, now if you want to just self-improve and do your thing without a woman, that's fine too. But if you want to maintain the attraction level of your woman, you, you can't be afraid to put in the work. You can't be afraid to cut off all the extracurricular activities. Stop. Uh, you can slow down on your Jordans or you can stop buying your Jordans. You can um, start um, saving more money. Uh, stop upgrading your phone every year. Start doing things uh, to save money, okay? And to get your financial thing in order. Stop eating bullshit all the time to get your body in order, okay? Start reading some books. Start getting your emotional strength where it needs to be. And just the way you can determine that your emotional strength is where it needs to be is the things that used to tick you off don't tick you off okay if 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 someone said a little something something it don't tick you off but one of the things you will not tolerate is disrespect one of the things you won't be afraid to do is uh look look people in the eye you're not afraid of confrontation you're not afraid to look people in the eye but the little pity pat shit that people do at your jobs or something, it's not going to tick you off anymore. That's how you know your mind is getting stronger. You're, you're developing more strategies, okay? So I just wanted to talk to you guys about, about not being afraid to put in the work and how to maintain relationships, all right? All right, guys, comment, like, subscribe until you change your mindset. No one cares, but just no one cares, and he wants you to become the best version of yourself. I'm out.